This is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Good evening. A powerful bomb today tore through a car as it was driving along Washington's usually quiet Embassy Row. A former Chilean ambassador to the United States and a woman associate were killed. The woman's husband was injured, not seriously, it's said. The Chilean was Orlando Letelier, who also had been foreign minister during the last months of the late Salvador Allende's Marxist regime. Richard Roth reports. Authorities are not saying what kind of bomb was responsible, but police sources tell CBS News investigators now are pursuing clues the device was remote controlled, perhaps by radio signal. Former Ambassador Letelier, a director of a private research group called the Institute for Policy Studies, was pronounced dead on the scene. 25-year-old Ronnie Moffat, an employee of the same institute, died at a local hospital. Her husband Michael was injured. Letelier had been an outspoken critic of the military regime now ruling Chile and was stripped of his citizenship just six days ago. Authorities investigating the killings would not speculate on a possible political motive, but within hours, Letelier's co-workers at the Institute for Policy Studies voiced suspicions that Chilean secret police had been involved. I believe that uh, there is sufficient evidence that uh, uh, a pattern of conduct uh, by, uh, uh, by uh, uh, Chilean uh, intelligence agencies that I think bears serious investigation by proper authorities in this country. Chilean ambassador to Washington Manuel Trujo strongly denied implications his government was involved in the crime. That is absolutely false and I hope also that uh, it can be investigated by the United States authorities. As demonstrators outside protested what they called Chile's terror tactics, Trujo said his government will cooperate fully in the investigation, now being conducted by the FBI, the Treasury Department, and local police. Richard Roth, CBS News, Washington.